What are we gonna do when it's crunch time? How do we clean up one of the things we gotta do that's most important, the first, the biggest, the best, the first thing you do when you throw the discus? You have to start on balance, super critical. We're gonna talk about pillar one in this video. We're gonna talk about how if you get on balance, that's gonna be the game changer, so let's check it out. Johnson from Airte Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, what we're going to discuss is the setup. We talk about pillar number one. Pillar one is the entire beginning of the chain reaction, and it is oftentimes super missed. And one of the quick fixes we want to do in crunch time part of the season is we want to be able to clean up movement. And we talk about this, and we have another video that's going to include this. But today, I'm going to talk about specifically about how critical it is to set up your pillar one because we have to establish balance, and balance throughout the throw is going to increase acceleration and power and that means big distance. In today's video, one of the things we want to talk about is if we're in crunch time we've get, and we're getting all this wind and we've, we talked about it in another video about the high heel and the things that cause over rotation and what we want to understand is we, things we want to do is we're trying to be able to set the position of separation hip shoulder and arm shoulder and one of the things we talk about in our system is we want separation because we create stretch reflex stretch reflex is going to start creating the right type of movement and that's the one of the big things behind the chain reaction and why we're having so much success or throwers and coaches are having tons of success with it so one of the things that we focus on at Arite is that we are trying to get our throwers to eliminate a lot of wasted motion so we're cutting down on multi winds. You know, when you see kids doing this type of thing, we want to eliminate that. We want to control and we want to set that separation and stretch reflex correctly. So, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to teach you this. So, in our system, we call this a wind up one. It's very similar to some of the movement that you've seen out of some of the best discus throwers in the world. Andreas Guzdias, he does a very static start. And if you look at Gerd Cantor, he had a pretty static start. So when you look at some of these great throwers, you're going to notice that they have more control. Lars Riedel had a pretty static start. So for some throwers, that's going to work. And then we look at who's probably one of the greatest discus throwers pound for pound in the history of sport is Anthony Washington. And he started with a very controlled position. And his son, Turner Washington, who threw 227 as a senior in high school just a few years ago, very similar start, controlled movement, right? And it can work. And these, these are athletes that are showing that you can have tremendous success. So one of the things I would recommend is we have so many guys that are just creating so much wind time. So again, in our system, we call this kind of a wind up one start. What we're going to do is control the motion and that's going to allow the athlete to set the line and move into the throw. It's really that simple. So if we're during crunch time, one of the things we want to do is get rid of all the excess motion. So remember, one of the things we do in the throwing chain reaction system is we train positions and we train throwing. They're two different things, but they obviously go together. That's why we call the throwing portion of it pillar connection. And so what this does is this is a simple way to eliminate a lot of excess movement to get throwers on track fast. So coaches, this is a great tip for you to try and throwers that are coaching yourselves out there because we know so many of you unfortunately just don't have a coach at your school or maybe you have a coach who's trying but he's a brand new thrower and he's self-admittedly doesn't really understand how to coach the throw. So this is one of those simple things that will help so many of you super quick. I want you to try it. You want to lock everything up. We're going to review one more time. So we're going to make sure that we're here. We're going to stay more controlled and we're going to be able to come around. So we're going to be able to feel that motion into the throw. I'm getting a little old. So my movement might be not as smooth as it used to be. But at any rate, let's look, take one more peek and look at Guzdias. Even if you look at Perkovich, she has some up down, but you're going to notice she stays very center on her wind and that's one of those key tips. And then she kind of up and moves very dynamically around and into the throw. So this is a very simple way to help get your throwing on track really fast. And the start of the throw is the entire beginning of the chain reaction. Pillar one is we refer to as the trigger. Pillar one is so critical. There's a ton of variables. Ironically enough, it's the one thing where we do, we have very simple drill progressions inside our program, but they're super effective and they make a big results and it's the do's and don'ts and the positions that matter the most. So hopefully you found today's video helpful. If you did hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification, be sure to give us a thumbs up and thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video.
Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.